Hello everyone and welcome to how to set a spawn point in Minecraft. Whether you're a server owner or you're just playing by yourself, today's topic is something that needs to be covered for everyone to know, and that's how to set a spawn point. Whether you're playing on a brand new server or one that your friends have already been playing on, you may be unaware of where to go or what to do with a random spawn point. So having a spawn point that is set will be definitely helpful. So that's why we're going over it today and we're going over each way that it is able to be done. Changing your player spawn. The first and most obvious answer is of course to go and get a bed. The most classic way of getting a bed is unfortunately killing as many sheep as it takes to get three wool and well, sorry sheep, you have to suffer the brunt of this one. And then you have to go get one block of wood then you're going to go to your crafting table once you are ready and put in the logs, get the planks, and then craft the bed. Everybody knows how to do that. This way is cool though because that is basically the only vanilla way that you can actually set a spawn point. The other way is to steal a bed from a villager. Please forgive me sir, I am very needy and I'm very cold. Then you just wait for nighttime like I like to do and then go to sleep. You can of course just click the bed when it's daytime to set the spawn point, but that's not as fun to me. Introducing our first command of the video, if you do slash spawn point, this will set the spawn point for you. Keep in mind that this is not a command that can be done without being opt. Setting the world spawn. This one is probably the most commonly used one, especially when you're starting on a brand new server. But for me, I like to make little fun adventure map style things, and in order to do that and have people play it the right way, then you need to have set world spawn. So in your text box, you're gonna do slash set world spawn. Hitting this command will grant your world spawn that exact area. The only hang up is if you try to do it underground, it'll spawn you above that level that is level ground. Using a plugin for spawn points. Probably the least commonly known one is to use a plugin for spawn points. This may seem useless, but there are certain reasons to do this. So go ahead and stop your server and then wait for it to shut down. Once you do, head to the Switch Game tab on the bottom left of your Nitrato server. Once you're there, you're going to search up Minecraft so that it's easier to find, and then you're gonna scroll down to where you see the bucket slash spigot version of Minecraft. Go ahead and install that. After clicking the green install button, a pop-up will appear and go ahead and double down on that green install button. While we're waiting for the server installation to run, why don't we head over and grab the plugin that we'll need. In this case, we're gonna be using the hub that plugin, and this will be linked in the description below. What you wanna look for is the download now button, which is just a big blue button on the side of it. Then keep an eye on it in your downloads. Once the server has fully ran the installation, you actually wanna stop your server once again. This will take just a couple of more minutes, but once you are ready to go, you're going to go ahead and go to the left-hand side under tools and click file browser. Then you're gonna take the path of Minecraft Bucket, B-U-K-K-I-T, and then you're gonna take the plugins folder. Click on that once you find it. If you're familiar with Forge, this is very similar to the mods folder. Once you're in here, you're going to click the green upload file button, and then just double click on the hub that plugin that we've just recently downloaded. You can also click and drag, but I find this way to be easier. Then, once it's uploaded, you're gonna go back to your dashboard, and of course, you're going to hit the green start server button. This will effectively get your server back up and running and run the full installation of the plugin that we just added. Once again, this may take a couple of moments, but once it's done, then you'll be able to add in the plugin commands that you have. In this case, you could do slash set spawn or slash set hub. Either of these will work with the plugin that we just added, since those are the commands that come with the plugins. I highly recommend checking out the rest of them. Conclusion. Well everyone, that seems like a relatively simple and obviously easy tutorial, but it's not always that easy, especially if you're unfamiliar with how any of this works. Keep in mind, we were all beginners once. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time. Huh.